did you have uh, much chance to practice this uh, before Ukraine? Oh yes, oh yes. And um, actually everything, and I can speak about that, um, actually I was like uh, dreaming um, to go to Ukraine to have somehow and somehow um, an experience uh, in doing the interaction with uh, with international volunteers because people arrive there and um, they behave like they are on their own regiments and uh, this is a, a lifetime experience because you receive people from all over the world, literally all over the world. And they arrive um, looking like lost, uh, without um, an anchor, without uh, interaction um, activity. And so it's like they, they are by themselves. And it was needed to very fast to put that people together. Changing the changing names, uh, eating together, uh, changing a hug, uh, speaking with themselves, no matter if they are from Colombia, from the United States, from France, from Japan, and uh, even if uh, the most of them they could not speak the English um, English uh, language. So um, I was just before I went there. I was already uh, ready to do this type of uh, activities and by luck and totally by luck uh, I get that position and uh, my boss, a uh, British um, gentleman that put me in the, the lesion, um, he asked me some questions like you're doing and um, by an accident, totally an accident, by a telephone uh, telephone call from a Ukrainian army captain, uh, I was involved with his first activity to put the international volunteers um, together and start to start to start to be a group instead of uh, individuals.